That's Lisa's dad? You know what's funny? When we see pictures of Lisa, she looks so tall because she's a master at those angles and her legs are just so long. But when she's next to her dad, he dwarfs her. Oh my goodness. You know who else has a ginormous father? Momo. Look at this man. I dare you to knock on this man's door to ask out his daughter. Nana? And you think seeing this muscle of a man would turn people away from bothering idols' families? But it's a lot more common than you think. And there's this thing going around, which I'm not sure why it's going around again, because I believe this happened a couple of months ago. What happened was Jisoo's brother and her sister-in-law all of a sudden unfollowed everyone on their Instagram and then deleted all of their posts. Apparently there was a source and just speculation that it was due to both fans and antis bombarding them with comments, maybe even messages, I don't know. And like a lot of people said, they could have just put it on private, but then again, this was all just speculation. If you check back now, they are posting again like normal. So whatever the reason was and whatever made this story circulate again, at least it's a good reminder that this kind of stuff happens, sometimes with good intentions just to express love and sometimes with malicious intent. So it's probably just best to not bother the families of K-pop idols at all. And that is not to say that we should cross the line with the artist instead. V just talked about how unnerving it is when they want to take a regular flight just like everyone else, but somehow people always find out and spread that information leading to Sasang fans buying those seats, sometimes in front of them, sometimes even right next to them. He talked about how uncomfortable it is, just imagine being stuck in this small space with literally nowhere to go, trying to sleep, trying to take a nap because you're going to be working and performing right when you get off just to find out there are eyes and phones on you the entire time. Not only that, but knowing what these people were willing to do to get on this plane and not knowing what lines they're willing to cross next. It's so strange and scary, like he said. Especially when you have a high profile event like MAMA, where all the idols are flying to the same spot. It's probably a Sasang's dream and an idol's nightmare. And when they are at MAMA on the red carpet, another thing they don't want to deal with is questions phrased in a way where their answers could do nothing but start fan wars. GOT7 had to deal with this at MAMA this year a couple of weeks ago when the Associated Press, by the way, since when did the Associated Press go to MAMA? Since when was Chimmy Fallon a part of MAMA? Yeah, you heard me, Chimmy. Anyway, anyway, GOT7's interview started out with one reporter calling them the wrong name, which the Associated Press said was the reason that their clip was taken down, but I have a small hunch that it was also because another voice goes on to ask, not even just a general question about BTS, which fans are already tired of for groups who aren't BTS. Monster X gets it, NCT gets it, but this one, this one wasn't even a generic or subtle question about BTS. The lady straight up said, so you guys want to beat BTS? What? What? Where did that come from? Obviously, they were just fishing for that headline, and trying to do that could have backfired on them really quick, but I think there are a few reasons why this didn't go south as much as we expected would. One, there's a bit of an understanding that these reporters come to these red carpets with questions that are sometimes given to them to get those headlines, so the weight doesn't entirely fall on their shoulders. And another reason fans didn't absolutely torch them was because Bam Bam and Jackson handled it perfectly. Bam Bam right off the bat said, no, 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 we're friends, come on. And Jackson finishes it off and shuts it down by saying, there's no competition, it's all love and support in K-pop. I love what he said. I'm gonna use that clip for so, so many situations from now on. It's all love in K-pop. And good thing he said that because Bam Bam seemed like he was about to bring out the big guns. And you know what I mean when I say the big guns.